Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to make a quick video on uh, a question I got asked um, on Discord today. And it's about diversifiable versus non-diversifiable risk. Um, so some theory from chapter 8 on, uh, on stocks, I just want to give you a quick rundown of it. It's really, really simple. So when you buy a stock, there's two types of risk that you would take. There is diversifiable risk, which we often call unsystematic risk. Now, this is called diversifiable because you're able to reduce this risk through diversification. In other words, by spreading your money around into different stocks. But what is it exactly? Diversifiable risk is the risk associated to the specific company. So, say I buy shares in uh, Adidas, and then they have that big beef with Kanye West. They drop, they drop him and the stock goes down. Or I buy shares of Tesla and Elon Musk posts a tweet where I buy shares in Air Canada and you know they have a problem with their aircrafts. See, these are all the risks associated to these specific companies I'm investing in. And they're unique to those companies. So, again, if I want to avoid them, I could just diversify. I could put some of my money in Air Canada, some in Adidas, some in Tesla. But, you know, I'm not completely exposed to those risks because I don't have all my money in those stocks. Then you've got systematic risk or market risk. This is the risk associated to the market itself. So every stock has this risk. Think of a recession, think of uh, COVID. When something happens to the entire market, all the stocks will go down. So whether you have Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Boeing, whatever, they would all be affected by this event. So I'll give you an example of that. When the government of Canada, or the US, I guess, raises their interest rates, the entire market freaks out. And typically stocks go down. Now that is an example of a systematic event, right? An event that affected the entire market. So these risks are not avoidable, right? The only way to avoid market risk is to not put your money in the market. So that's basically it. If you do get a question on this, it'll be a theory question. It's probably something along the lines of like, you know, here's a scenario, what type of risk is it? Right, so think, if it affects a specific company or industry, we'd call it unsystematic or diversifiable. If it affects the entire market, so it's a general event, we call that systematic or market risk, okay? Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up. Hope it helps. Peace.